Handling shipping and returns is an integral part of running a Shopify store. As part of the order fulfillment process, adding shipping information is an absolute must. And when it comes to product returns, well, chances are you'll get a few sooner rather than later. And that's totally normal. It's just part of the business, but it's important to handle it the right way so your store maintains a great reputation and keeps customers coming back. That's exactly why I created this video. So by the end of it, you'll know the best way to handle shipments and how to deal with product returns effectively. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, the process of shipping a product is pretty straightforward and can be easily managed. For example, here on the order dashboard, you can see that I received an order from this product. If I'm doing drop shipping, all I need to do is go to my supplier, place the order and enter the buyer's address as the shipping address. The same applies if you're working with a 3PL or warehouse, just provide the buyer's address along with the product details. Simple as that. And nowadays you can even find integrations that automate this process. Now these tools can pull the order details directly from Shopify and automatically fulfill the order with your dropshipping supplier or 3PL. Another thing you need to pay attention to in the Shopify order section is the Shopify also provides an extra layer of protection for each order through the order risk tab. Now this feature helps you identify whether an order is high risk or low risk. It analyzes analyzes several factors like the payment method used, whether the country matches the shipping address, the buyer's interaction history with your store and more. If an order is flagged as high risk, you can decide whether to fulfill it or cancel it. And if you choose to cancel, all you have to do is click refund to process it instantly. Now, if you want to reduce the chances of chargebacks or issues with your Shopify store payment provider, there are two key things you need to keep in mind. First, make sure you are drop shipping products that align with the regulations of both the country you're selling to and the payment provider you're using. Now, most products like home decor, camping gear, fashion items, and so on are generally fine to sell. But products that are more heavily regulated, like hemp-based items or alcoholic beverages, can lead to problems. These might include your payment provider flagging or even blocking your store from receiving payments or facing legal issues with certain countries. So if you're ever unsure about a product, the best thing to do is check your payment provider's product policy to confirm it's allowed. Also, look into the regulations of the countries you're selling in to ensure the product is completely compliant there too. Another great way to find products that are popular for dropshipping and have strong market and trend fit is by using the Zeek product explorer tool. With it, you can quickly discover the top selling products, get inspired by what's performing well in other Shopify stores, and even access a full store analysis. This includes details like the store's marketing strategy and their exact best selling items. It's a powerful way to understand what's truly working in the market so you can base your product selection on data, not just guesswork. That said, you don't need to do this for every product. In fact, 99% of the items you'll sell are usually fine. Just take extra care with anything that could fall into the restricted or regulated category. Now, the second thing you need to keep in mind is to provide proof of shipping. And the best way to do that is by giving the buyer a tracking number that both they and your payment provider can access. If a customer claims they never received the product and tries to open a chargeback, it becomes much harder for them to win the case if you've provided a valid tracking number showing the product was shipped and delivered. These days, if you're doing drop shipping, I recommend using AliExpress. It's known for its low prices, decent product quality, and global shipping options. Plus, most sellers on AliExpress offer tracking numbers, and those tracking numbers are easy to follow through platforms like 17Track, or the shipping provider's own site. If you're working with a 3PL, which means you're using warehouse services and selling private label or stocked inventory, then using tracked shipping is even more important. It not only protects your business, but also helps build trust and satisfaction with your customers and established brand. 
Okay, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to take your product research to the next level and base your decisions on data, not just guesswork, you can try Zeke Analytics for just $1 for the first week. Now, once you have a tracking number for the order, you'll need to add it to the order in Shopify. Simply click fulfill item and then confirm the fulfillment by clicking fulfill item again. Once that's done, you'll see a button called add tracking. Click it, then enter the tracking number and select the carrier. OK, so we've covered order fulfillment. Now let's talk about handling returns. You might face a situation where a customer wants to return a product. The first step is to understand why they want to return it. Based on the reason, you typically have four main options. Full refund or free replacement. If the product is inexpensive to source, you can either offer a full refund or send a free replacement depending on the situation and reason for the return. Return at buyer's expense. You can ask the buyer to return the item for you, your dropshipping supplier, or your 3PL. In this case, the buyer is responsible for paying the return shipping cost. Once the item is received, you can issue the refund. While this method is common, it can lead to a negative customer experience and may harm your brand's reputation. So if you're building a long-term trusted brand, think carefully before going with this option. Prepaid shipping label provided by you. You can offer the buyer a prepaid shipping label so they can return the item easily. This makes the return process smoother and more customer friendly. Now, what exactly is a prepaid shipping label? It's a return label that the buyer can print and stick on the package. Then they just take it to the local shipping company based on the label provided and return the item at no cost to them. If you're working with a 3PL, you can usually request a prepaid return label directly from them. Just check the return label cost and send it to the customer. And if you're working with a local or international supplier like AliExpress, you can also issue prepaid shipping labels in some cases. Next, I'll show you exactly how to generate a prepaid return label when using AliExpress as your supplier. Open a dispute. Log into your AliExpress account and go to my orders. Select the order that includes the item you want to return. Click on open dispute and select return goods. Submit the dispute by providing the following. Delivery status, which means if you received the product or not. Select the reason for the return. Select the application type. It means if you want a refund or a replacement for the product and add the refund amount. That needs to be equal to how much you paid for the product. Lastly, upload videos or photos in case the product is defective or does not match the product description. You can ask for this from your Shopify buyer as part of the return process. After we open the return request on AliExpress, the seller has five days to respond. If the return is approved by the seller, a free return label will be provided. If not, you can escalate the dispute to AliExpress. In most cases for cheap products, the AliExpress seller will provide a refund without needing to return the product. If the AliExpress seller provides a prepaid return label, they will inspect the returned item. And if everything looks good, the refund process will be initiated. Note that refunds are typically processed within 10 business days and credited back to your original payment method. And now if you're working with local U.S. suppliers like Amazon or Walmart, the process of issuing a prepaid return label is quite similar. In this example, I'll show you how to do it with Amazon, but the steps are almost identical for Walmart as well. With Amazon, all you need to do is select the return reason, usually the one provided by the customer. Then indicate the condition of the product and provide a brief explanation for the return. Once that's done, click continue. Next, Amazon will show how you'd like to receive your refund. I usually choose original payment method, so that's what I'll select here. Amazon makes returns really simple with their QR code system. Just take a screenshot of the QR code and send it to your buyer. The buyer can then print 
and attach the QR code to the return package. Take it to the UPS location in their case and ship it back for free. And that's it, quick and easy. The last thing you need to keep in mind is to update your refund and shipping policies. In your Shopify store backend, simply go to settings, policies, and update the shipping policy to reflect your dropshipping suppliers or 3PLs shipping times. For the return and refund policy, it's important to clearly explain what is required in order to receive a refund, whether you provide a prepaid return label or the buyer is responsible for returning the item themselves. Also, don't forget to set the refund time frame, which means how many days after receiving the product, the buyer is allowed to request a refund. Keeping your policies clear and up to date will help you keep your store transparent and make your customer service much easier to manage. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys have everything you need to handle shipping and returns like a pro in your Shopify store. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video.